Okay, now let me show you what we're gonna do with a couple of these. We're gonna take the guts, we're gonna go in and get the guts out of them, and your daddy's gonna take us crabbing this afternoon, and we're gonna try to use these duck guts, these till guts as the bait. He says you don't even use a hook. Have y'all done this before, or is he pulling my leg? We've done this before. You've caught times. crabs like this, or is he messing with me? So we you just it. put this on the string with a rock and drop it into the pond. Crab comes up. And just hooks onto it, and then you pull them up? All right. So we're going the blue crab we caught today, shrimp, and this is okra? Okra. All right, let me see this real rude. So a roux is a flour-based gravy. Flour and oil. Flour and oil. Flour and oil is the roux which becomes the base of, of what we're gonna cook tonight, which is the base of a, of a gravy or a gumbo or a stew. Do you, do you cook it hot and fast or is it something that sits for a while? We'll, we'll show you, it's, 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 it's a, uh, Something you have to learn over time. You can't do it too fast or too slow, but it it, it, it takes a little bit of time, but it's effective. Kyle, it's 6.51 right now. What time do we take our first bite? 11.02. 11.02, <laughs> really? <laughs> if you keep talking about making Man. the roux and like cooking the roux, it's gonna be Four hours, four hours. <laughs> all right, so all a roux is is flour and oil. So what we'll do is it's usually equal parts so we, I always start with the flour because that's kind of the, the base of what we're gonna do. And then we'll add the oil. Now the oil is obviously cold, so the oil does expand. So I don't wanna put too much oil too soon. So like I said, you can always, you can add, but you can't ever take away. So I'll add the oil slow. And I have this on probably a, a medium to medium high heat. I don't want to start cooking it now. Right now, all I'm doing is looking for the consistency of what I want the root to look like. End result, you want this to be a little bit thicker than, or thinner than peanut butter, like the consistency of a, a thick paint, I guess, is, is what a typical root looks like. But the thing is, is if, if, we, if we burn this, we got to start all over. We're not burning so, this. So it's better to go a little slower and make sure that it's, it's cooking, but it's not burning. Now we're gonna, we're gonna add the crabs. We're gonna, we added the okra. We got some beautiful crabs. Look at those blue that, crabs. That All we cleaned caught, up. That we caught today. Oh yes. And we're gonna go ahead and scatter those. Now once you, once you start putting the seafood in, we don't want to overly stir. We just want to kind of let this simmer and and marinate because now it becomes not less a stirring, low fire and just kind of let this go. So we'll let the crab- But you want to submerge it, right? Yeah, we'll let the crab submerge. As soon as this is gonna come to a simmering boil, we'll put the shrimp in. Oh, look at those. 16, 20 count shrimp. So we're gonna, we're gonna pour these in here and let them simmer and that's gonna be our- You do both bags? Yeah. So oh, this is gonna our, be a heavy shrimp dish. Our last, uh, our last guru. Shrimp crab. Homemade, like seriously from scratch, the roux was, it's been two and a half hours since we started. 